It's time for the Rose Chat Podcast, a podcast dedicated to celebrating the world's most beloved flower, the rose. Join award-winning gardeners Chris Van Cleef and Teresa Byington as they chat with rose lovers and experts from around the globe. With each episode, you'll gain valuable knowledge and insights to achieve the rose garden you've always dreamed of. Listen now as we explore the world of roses. Try Haven Brand Soil Conditioners, providing generations of gardeners with a truly all-natural alternative to chemical fertilizers with their line of composted manure and alfalfa teas. Easy to brew and use on all indoor and outdoor plants. Find them online at manuretea.com. Hey, Rose friends. We don't know about you, but we're ready to kick off 2019. And we have one of our favorite Rose Chat guests, Paul Zimmerman, with us today. Now, if you remember, Paul is the author of the great rose book, Everyday Roses, and he's also the director of the Biltmore Rose Trials. But that's not what he's here to talk about today. Paul's leading a trip to some of the most famous rose gardens in the UK. It's an impressive list, David Austin Gardens, Sissinghurst, but we'll let, you talk, we'll let him talk about that. So I'm wondering, Chris, what are some of the favorite rose gardens you've visited? Well, you just mentioned one. The Biltmore Rose Garden is one that just blew me away the very first time I went there. Isn't that true? Once we entered those gates, you're just transformed into something historical and timeless. Oh, absolutely. And you know, the the Rose Garden at the Belmont Mansion in Nashville is small, but it is a powerhouse of roses. Oh, it sure is. Um, Another rose garden that I visited a few years ago with my daughter was the Peggy Rockefeller Rose Garden at the New York Botanical Gardens. It is absolutely spectacular. And it's one of the first gardens that I had visited where there was an earth kind rose trial going on. So that was fun to see that get started because it was about seven years ago when they were doing that. So, so many beautiful places to see roses. Yeah. You know, that's on my bucket list. You've already crossed it off yours, but I definitely (laughs) want to see that garden. You know, uh, back in June, uh, we were out at the Huntington and uh, that garden was just amazing. Tom Carruth and and his folks were so gracious and they took us on a tour of the entire garden. But once we hit the Rose Garden, it was like, oh my gosh. That is one of the, that is a special garden. I visited that one too, right as he was taking over. So I haven't got to see some of the improvements and wonderful things that he's done. But just as you go into the Rose Garden, you see all the statuary. I mean, you feel like you're in Europe. It's so beautiful just getting there. And then I was just taken by all of the arbors. They have arbors that, oh, of different kinds and shapes and materials. And they just, you know, are holding up these amazing roses. So it is beautiful. Yeah, we really enjoyed our time there, I'll tell you. You know, and I can't wait to hear what Paul has to say today about uh, this this garden tour that he's put together uh, and to hear about how we can join in on the fun. Absolutely. So Rose Friends, get ready. It's time for Rose Chat. Well, hey, Paul, welcome back to Roast Chat. Thank you. Good to be back again. Well, it's great to have you, but we are so excited about what you want to talk about today. You have something very special to share with our listeners, so get started. Tell us all about this tour. Yeah, so this is a rose tour of gardens in England, Um, obviously rose-themed gardens in England, but there are also beautiful perennial gardens and borders and everything along those lines. We're going to wrap this in just a quintessential English experience with, you know, country hotels and certainly there's going to be pubs and and cream teas. And we're even going to spend a morning in Brighton on the beach, on the pier, Um, you know, classic fish and chips and newspaper. So that's that's kind of the feel that I wanted to do with this. Um, I've been asked for years to do a garden tour and I just couldn't really make a connection that felt right to me. And so this year I said, let me really seriously dive into this. And so I did some research and saw that um, my friend Michael Marriott from David Austin Roses had done one last year with a company called Boxwood Tours. So Michael introduced me to Boxwood Tours, and Sue, the owner, and I had a nice long chat about what I wanted to do. 
And long story short, they've been doing this for, they're in their 29th year of doing garden tours in England and all, they also do them in Europe. So they really know the lay of the land, which was great. And so we're ready to rock and roll. We're going from the 15th to the 21st of June, seven days of packed of 13 rose gardens. And we're concluding it with a couple days in the area of, uh, and also in um, David Austin Rose's nursery. Wow. My goodness. It really is a rose lover's dream, but also a gardener's dream. So many of those things you just mentioned are on my bucket list. Yeah, it is. And I wanted to make it also, obviously, like you said, it's rose themed. And that's that's certainly going to be what I'm going to do. But I also want to make it for gardeners. So we're going to be visiting perennial borders and, and, and general gardens in general. Uh, needless to say, I always like to do educational moments and teach. So I'll certainly be looking for educational moments along the way. Um, that I can just say, hey, here's a takeaway. What about this? Or here's something you can bring home to your garden. Because I would love for the people who come on this tour to sit there and at the end of the tour and say, you know what? I've got three, four, five things I can take away, pack them in my suitcase, the ideas and thoughts, and I can take them and I can apply that to my own garden at home. Because um, sometimes you get into these beautiful, spectacular gardens like Sissinghurst, which is the, I think in the first day we're going to be visiting Sissinghurst. Um, and you think, oh my gosh, well, this is great. And, you know, but Vita Zach, Phil West, what do I know? Well, we're going to try to, distill some of that down so you can get some takeaways from Sissinghurst that you can possibly bring back to your own garden. Now you have some people going along uh, with you um, at different points along the way. You mentioned Michael Marriott. Is uh, Who else is going to be a part of this? Yeah, we've got, um, so for the first two days, we're going to be joined by my good friend Richard Beals, who of course is the son of the legendary Rosarian Peter Beals, who was a mentor of mine. And I asked Richard to join us for a couple of reasons. First of all, I just like Richard. He's a great guy. Um, but the other reason was because I thought he could really provide some unique uh, insight into some of these gardens. Um, and one of the gardens that we're actually visiting actually features uh, roses from the Peter Beals Rose Nursery. And Richard actually did some design work in that garden as well. Um, so that's kind of cool. So I think that's going to give us a chance to do some things that are maybe a little bit different um, with Richard. And then what Richard's also going to do, that's Pashley Manor is the garden I'm talking about there. And then what Richard, I've also asked Richard to do, like in the education aspect, Richard, a lot of people don't know, is actually an incredible garden designer. Um, he and I, of course, collaborated on the new uh, design for the American Rose Society, uh, the headquarters garden at the American Rose uh, headquarters in, in Shreveport, mm -hmm. Louisiana. So I've asked Richard on the on the second day in the afternoon before lunch, before dinner, excuse me, um, and Richard's going to do a master class on garden design. Uh, so I'm hoping some people can say, oh, look, I can, you know, here's some things that I can do. I can take away to my garden. Maybe I understand a little more how garden design works and, and how it structures. And of course, you know, Richard being the son of Peter uh, mm -hmm. Beals, you know, literally grew up in, in Rose Gardens. And, I think and then uh, Michael Marriott's going to join us uh, when we get to the David Austin portion. Uh, Michael will do a class as well. Um, we haven't quite decided what that's going to be. I thought it might be designed, but with Richard doing design, Michael's going to do something a little bit different with that. Then Michael's going to join us uh, as we get a tour of his private garden, his own personal garden. Uh, he's also going to take us on a uh, tour of David Austin's, The unfortunately, he, we just lost just recently, which is a sad loss, um, but David Austin's own personal garden. Then Michael will take us on a behind-the-scenes tour of David Austin Roses, and that'll be the last day. And we culminate the tour with a hybridizing class at David Austin Roses from their, from their hybridizer. So you are packing in a lot in those days and so many educational opportunities. And I, I can tell you that uh, whether it's on my blog or wherever, I get so many questions about design. You know, a lot of people are growing roses. They're very good at that, but they want to know about design. So you're really hitting the mark there with with um, having two designers, Michael and Richard, and of course yourself. So people are going to get a power pack uh, lessons on design for sure. Yeah, that's what we want. That's one of the things I want to do, you know, and then we can certainly talk about uh, when we get to Montesfont Abbey, which is one of the other gardens, which, of course, is the garden designed by Graham Stewart Thomas and is the repository for the um, uh, basically the, the, the heritage collection of roses from uh, in, in England. And it's a great co combination of per perennials and roses. And I actually inspired that garden inspired me a lot in the beginning. Uh, there's a wonderful book that um, was published by Mr. Thomas called The Art of Gardening with Roses. And it's one of the first rose books I read close to 25 years ago when I got started. And that's really what sort of inspired my whole, you know, perennial and, and garden look on things that I did. And we'll be met. Um, we're not quite sure who's going to meet us from Montesfont in that garden. 
Uh, but that'll be that'll be exactly another moment where we'll have somebody from the garden in there walking us through how it was laid out, why it was laid out. Mm-hmm. Um, I particularly want to talk about they have a very unique way that they prune shrub roses, um, particularly old garden roses, but David Austin roses, all kinds of roses like that at Modest Farm. That was that was put together by David Stone, who was the former head gardener. So I'm hoping we'll spend some time with that. David actually taught me how to prune shrub roses, so I want to spend some time with that. Um, at Sissinghurst, uh, we're actually going to get in early uh, before the gardens open, and we're going to be met by Troy Smith, who's the head gardener at Sissinghurst, and there'll be some edu- uh, educational opportunities with Troy as well. Well, my goodness. Um, now, for all those who are listening and they're just ready to, to jump up and down, what is their next step? How do they, how do they sign up? How, how do they get ready to go? Yeah, well, the next step, what basically what they need to do is they go to my website, which is paulzimmermanroses.com. Um, you go to the homepage, scroll down just a little bit, you'll see a, a link to click on. That'll take you to a page on my website where I talk very briefly about it. Then there's a link that takes you over to the Boxwood Tours website, which is where this or this tour is. And But don't go directly to the Boxwood Tours website because actually this page is private um, because we want to make sure sh- we want to... What Sue wanted to do was to, you know, basically have me sort of like funnel people to the website. So you got to go to my website first. Um, and then the, you have the entire itinerary, everything that we're doing. Like I said, it's seven days. It includes lunches. It includes dinners. Um, there's wine with, with dinner as well. We're staying in Country Manor hotels, two beautiful hotels. We're not changing rooms every night. We're staying like three or four days in one hotel, three or four days in another hotel. Um, so we're not having to like, you know, pack luggage every single night. We've got time for, we're going to be, I'm certainly going to be in the pub. So hopefully people will join me there uh, if they want to, <laughs> things like that. And there's all kinds of information. The pricing is there, uh, how to make your reservation, um, what it includes. It includes basically everything but airfare. So that's the best thing to do. Just go to my website, click on that link, head on in there, read about it, and you can find out all about it and, and sign up. Well, friends, we'll have information on the tour in our show notes. So if you're driving and you can't write that down just now, um, we'll have that information in the show notes. Paul, this is exciting. I'm so glad you said yes to this garden tour. Yeah, I'm excited too. It's it's it's, and I'm actually thinking about it uh, again. You know, if this one did proves popular, I can repeat it. But I would also like to do a tour maybe in 2020 of the Low Countries. You know, Belgium and Holland and. And that area. And I think we can tour some wonderful nurseries and some wonderful gardens there. And there's some incredible opportunities there. And, you know, and, and so I think it'd be fun to sort of like continue to expand this, you know, beyond just England. I think we, there's a lot of other things that we could do and tours that we can get into. And I've got pretty, pretty good contacts in Europe. So I think we can get a lot of behind the scenes stuff. And I'm kind of looking for that, that sort of behind the scenes things that you normally wouldn't get to see if you just showed up at these gardens at yourself on your own. Well, this tour is just packed with those moments, those special moments, those behind the scene moments, education moments, the things that just aren't on your typical tour. So thanks for going the extra mile and putting this together. And thanks for coming on and sharing all your great plans with us. Oh, it's my pleasure. Always, always great to talk to you guys. Well, it's our pleasure too, Paul. And all the best with your plans for this great trip. Thank you and see you across the pond. You've been listening to the Rose Chat Podcast with Chris Van Cleve and Teresa Byington, expert rose gardeners who want to help you achieve the rose garden of your dreams. Don't miss an episode. Listen anytime on our website at rosechatpodcast.com or listen on the go via the Rose Chat app on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Share this podcast with your social networks and join us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram by using the hashtag Rose Chat. Join us next time for another edition of the Rose Chat Podcast. The Rose Chat Podcast is a production of the Rose Chat Media Group, Birmingham, Alabama.